Hi everyone, today I wanted to share a quick tip with you. I know a lot of times we make these really beautiful cards that have all types of dimensions. Um, this tag, for example, has a lot of um, quilling done on it. And then this one is pretty bulky because I've gone ahead and I've put this bow and this charm and this uh, McGill flower on it. However, you want to make sure that you send this to your friends and they're not ruined in transit, right? So let me show you a regular um, envelope and what it looks like. You see there's no gusset at all. And we'll try to put it in here. But of course that doesn't work because the flowers don't fit. They're two dimensional. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Same thing, you put it in here, but it's two dimensional. And of course, once they run it through the machine at the post office, by the time the recipient gets it, they're all ruined. So we don't need to worry about that anymore because um, Miss Linda from MyQuillingNest.com has come up with these really fun envelopes that have about a quarter of an inch gusset on here. And they also have this little tuck away where you can put the envelope in if you choose not to mail it and just give it to your friend personally. It's a great, great packaging for your um, dimensional cards. I'll show you how it works. You basically just put your little card in here like this and close it up and again no worries about it um, getting ruined. Let me show you how you would get these. They come um, flat so when you get it in the mail it won't be that much postage because you don't have to pay for the girth um, and then you open them up and you get two options. I believe you get the option to get them um, with score tape or without score tape. In this case, I got them with some score tape. So all you have to do is open them up. You're going to go ahead and crease all of the edges, although they've been pre-scored for you, so it should be pretty easy for you to do. Fold it over like this. You're going to fold these two little pockets in, and then you're going to fold this over like this. Because these have score tape on them already, all you have to do is just remove the top of the adhesive. So just remove the little labels. And I'll do that on this side as well. And you guys know that um, score tape is really, really well for these types of projects. So I'll just fold it over. Just make sure it's nicely adhered. Okay. And then you're just going to fold it down like this. And in this case, um, myquillingnest.com has added score tape here if you'd like to mail it. But if you don't want to mail it and you just want to um, do like I did and just put the card inside because you want to hand deliver it, all you have to do is tuck it in this little flap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. And I'll post the information below so you can stop by her blog and see um, more information about them. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.